guys you may interact with us uh, using your microphone or else you can post your message in chat box if you have any other questions you may post in the q and a session uh, you may make dm also i uh, mean you can make direct message to the host we are the famous host here one is saiteja and the one is rita i am venkatesh kamal chakravarti and we know need of giving introduction to chandrakiran reddy the jds elite so it's 95 guys as I, as we mentioned we have to start by now let's get started google developer student clubs gni we are going to organize compost camp what is the compost camp what is actually it mean what is mean by android development what is user interface all these questions are going to cover in this session who are we here uh, we are we are going to introduce our team this is saiteja uh, facilitator as well as core lead of gdsc and with me the srita she is a co facilitator and the team member of android development team and venkatesh android development team kamal chakravarti android development team they will introduce themselves in the following session let's get started why you are here most of the people think that uh, you are here because of learn uh, from the android developer means you want to become an android developer means you uh, you want to create a apps here so you might be there here to attend this session what are your goals how do you plan to achieve them to get the answers we call our team member venkatesh to explain the compost camp hi uh, i'm venkatesh anyway, if you have any answers you may share in the chat box hi hi i'm venkatesh team member of gdsc what is compost camp In Compost Camp, you will learn how to build an app using Jetpack Compost. In Jetpack Compost is a toolkit for build, building a native user interface. By using Jetpack, you can develop an Android app user interface. Uh, let's dive into the roadmap for Android development. In Pathway One, you will learn about Kotlin basics and setting up an Android Studio and building a basic layout for Android app. in pathway 2 you will learn about kotlin fundamentals how to add an button to an app interacting with an user interface all those things will be learned in pathway 2 in pathway 3 you will learn more detailed about kotlin fundamentals and building an scroll bar list and building a complete app in all those things will be done in pathway 3 in pathway 4 you will learn architecture components how we use for android apps and navigation in jetpacks and adapt for different screen size in all those things will be learned in jetpack 4 pathway 4 uh, uh uh basic requirements for uh, building an android app uh you need to have a basic knowledge for computer operations basic math skills computer and mobile phone and internet connections and android studio all those things will be needed for developing an android app uh sridha will continue the remaining thing before going to that most of the people have heard that what is jetpack compose let me clear your doubts please, uh, please be free here because you might think it's a very serious session no it's a very joyful session it's an interactive one uh, let us learn the things in a simple manner what is jetpack compose uh, to uh, i would like to uh, inform you that uh, open any website if you open a website you may see the html code right means uh, for building a website you need one html second thing is css and third thing is javascript for any database connection you may use another database languages but when we talk about the apps uh, we require the xml codes and you should be bind with the database connected please please don't get uh, too much confused we, when we talk about the apps we need to make it the user interface means which is appear on the screen and in the back end we have to use another uh, another languages if you want to build a color it, we have to make another kotlin language means we we have to make another packages if you want to make a animation you have to make another file as well if you combine all these files together then only you, it is able to get a app it is very tough task right you, first thing is you have to make a user interface that's a that's a file and second thing is you have to make a database connection that's another thing and for the colors you have to make another file another file and for the animation you have to make another file so if you bind these four things then only you are able to achieve a app means then only you able to build a app and deploy in the play store but 
when you talk about the jetpack compose it make all these three things in a easy manner if you use a composable thing means if you use this code but this particular code it will automatically create these three types means in detail means uh, while this in the going session you will able to see the three files are automatically creation means while uh, sita is explain this uh, this particular concept i will show what are these three files actually mean so jetpack is nothing but finally you got i think you got a general idea about jetpack jetpack is nothing but it will create a automatically automatic files which are called one is for the theme one is for the animation one is for the database connection so in this jetpack compose you will write the less code and produce the biggest apps so i think you might be bored with this particular session time to have a quiz are you ready hello please post yeah i'm hearing a lot of positive responses did you get bored i can't trust you guys most of the people means while our lectures are going on i used to sleep to be fair are you getting sleep guys are you there are you ready for quiz please count on guys if you count on i will start Count down, guys. Okay, count with me. Five, four, three, two. Oh, someone guy already went to zero. Okay, let's start our quiz. Please go for the slider dot com. Guys, please go for slider dot com and enter the code two seven one four four triple six. Are you there? Can you please share the link? Go for slider dot com. Oh, okay, we already shared in the chat box. Yeah, very few people came into the quiz. Guys, don't take it serious. It's for fun. That's it. Wow, name tags are increasing. code please 271 466 did everyone join Okay, shall we start? Okay. 
Are you ready, guys? Chalo, let's make a countdown again. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get started. That's your first question. Kotlin was developed by. Only five people are answered. Please guys, fast up. Time is up. Five. Okay. Oh. Most of the people are answered dead brains. I think you have a pretty knowledge on the Kotlin. Yeah, that's the right answer. Uh, Guys, can anyone, any, anyone answer why Kotlin was came into the Android development means Kotlin is another topic and why, what we're discussing is Android development, how they are related. Any guess? Anyone of you? Come on, guys. Any idea? Any guess? Any curious? It is the easiest language for creating apps and Google also declares. Yeah, that's true. Nice. Means you have good knowledge in the Kotlin. Then let's go for the next question. Um, the, in the leaderboard, the first one is Anjali and second JS Smith. Chandrakiran, Kalyan, Kirti Chandana Gurla. Nice. Your second question. When did Google announce that Kotlin is preferred language for Android development? I think the person who in uh, message here may answer this. Andrew Preddy. Yeah, most of the people answered 2nd May 2019 and 5th January 2019. What was the answer? 7th May 2019 is the correct answer. So please don't disappoint guys. So many questions are waiting for you. When was Android Studio released? Your time is up. Wow, most of the people are answered December 2016. Let's see the right answer. Sorry, guys, it's October 2017. Means, uh, anyone of you have idea about Android Studio? Anyone of you, please, guys. Okay, don't worry about it. In this session, you will completely work on the Android Studio itself. Which apps can be built using Kotlin? Means which apps are already built in using Kotlin? I think most of the people will do the right answer. Wow, all of the above. That's the right answer, guys. Means you have written all in the Kotlin. Next, the technical question. How to print Hello World in Kotlin? 
And guess, guys. Oh, was a tight print hello and hello world as well as print hello world. What about printer find system out of print hello? In which language we used to use? Any messages? What is Kotlin? It's a programming, programming language, language, which is uh, officially announced by the Google as their native programming language to work on the Android. Simple. So using the using the Kotlin language uh, and as well as Jetpack Jetpack Compose, we are going to develop an apps. Means we are going to build a user interface for the Android. Okay, and guess guys for printf or println system dot out or println. Who is G Harita? Is your doubt is clear? Okay. Let me explain about the printf. Printf is we we used to use in C language. System dot out or println is a statement from the Java. And print hello world is the statement from Python, and whereas print ln is our answer. Okay, guys. Finally, the winner is Keerthi Chetara, and second winner Anjali. Third is Vidya Sagar. I think he is uh, he is the winner for the GDSC also, right? Vidya Sagar. Hack it up. Yeah. And fourth one is Sanjana, and fifth is Dheeraj. Congratulations, guys. You did a good job. Okay, we have now completed our quiz, and most of you people have realized how the Kotlin is missed, how our knowledge uh, in the Kotlin area. So I welcome Srita to explain the Kotlin, the Kotlin language, and how we use the Kotlin language in Android Studio. Srita, yeah. please stay. Hi everyone, I'm Srita. I'm co-facilitator of this Android Compose Camp. Yeah, now Kotlin, you have. A basic idea about this Kotlin, right? In this complete camp, we are going to uh, use this programming language, Kotlin. Generally, Kotlin is a cross-platform programming language. This is designed by JetBrains. Uh, I think most of you guys answered this in the quiz. It is introduced by them in 2011, actually. This Kotlin is an object-oriented language. It is better than Java. This is sponsored by Google and announced as the official language for Android development in 2017. So uh, we'll see about this Kotlin. We'll learn about the syntax, how the variables are declared, how the functions are declared. We'll learn completely about this in the in the session. Uh, okay, for this programming language, we need an ID, right? For any language. Hello, can you guys hear me? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For this Kotlin, we are going to use this Android Studio. What is Android Studio actually? This is an integrated development environment designed specially for Android development. Okay. Now let's gonna see how this gonna look like. Uh, Saitika, can I share the screen? Yeah. Yes, please. I think you can see this Android Studio, right? Yes. This is how the Android Studio look like. This is our code, which I written in this Kotlin programming language. We'll learn later. This is so interesting, actually. Yeah. Uh, using this Kotlin, we are going to write see, here the functions and the annotation annotations by this compose. Uh, like this, the design is going to look like. This is the emula uh, emulator in which our uh, design, our user interface is going to look. Uh, now, I want to uh, print, like, I want to display my name here. Here, it is Hello Android. I want my name. Let's going to see this. 
see how it's gonna change. Hello, Shihita. In this way, it's gonna change. Uh, we can build many uh, interesting UIs using this. We'll all gonna learn what is this Android Studio, how to install it, how to set up. We're all gonna take a look in the next sessions. And as I mentioned, please uh, yeah. share your screen, Sweeta. Is it visible now? Yeah. Please cl click on the main key, um, it's main activity key. UIT. Yeah, we just opened this main activity. No, UIT, the folder. Guys, uh, as I mentioned in the Jetpack Compose, right? What I said, uh, we need a color, color file. One is shape file, theme file, which is nothing but animation. And the final output means our Kotlin language file. This is all bundles. Means if you make any app, we also have to make a color app, color file, as well as shape file, theme file separately. That was the once upon a time means uh, in the olden days, uh, the developers used to write the code in this way. That's the reason uh, it's take a lot of time to deploy app. So in this Jetpack Compose, uh, we are going to write only the main activity.kt, means the main code itself. The Jetpack Compose means uh, here you are saying that at the rate composable, right? At the rate composable at the, from the final. So see the condition? Yeah. No, at the rate composable is nothing but it's, it will show that it's a composable function so from that uh, from the code itself it will create automatically the bundles it will automatically bundle the all files and it ought, it will automatically create the files that's the simple matter of the jetpack compose i think most of the people got what is meant by jetpack compose yeah so they got an are you clear with this so okay uh, let us talk about this uh, emulator whatever the app uh, we are going to create here means whatever the code we are going to write here it is automatically uh, give a preview in the default preview if you want to install in our phone uh, in our mobile we may uh, see with the, using the emulator or else we may connect our phone itself and download our app that's a wonderful thing will happen in this android studio are you guys getting Please, guys. Yes. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> nice. So uh, you got a little bit idea about the Android Studio itself. Uh, uh, on the other note, I want to add a note called it's a native platform. Most of the people didn't understand about the native or the cross platform. Cross platform is nothing but uh, we have we used to write the code uh, in another platform like Flutter. We used to we use a Dart language to develop an app. Uh, we use uh, and again whatever the files are uh, developed in the flutter we used to dump into the android studio to make it native uh, on the uh, i would mention that we have to mention that for every platform what we are making uh, to run a android app we use we have to use the android that's the main uh, that's the main bridge between the c means our code as well as the android are you guys are getting so what are the uh, what we are going to do here. Here, just we are giving a touch of code, means touch of Kotlin using the composable, com using the composable. And we are going to develop a user interfaces for the Android. And we are going to deploy an app, which is completely based on the Jetpack composable. Are you guys are getting this? So whatever the changes in the code, it is going to preview in the default preview and we may deploy in, in the emulator. So while you are writing the code, you must keep the user mind, means whatever the user uh, user thing is there, you would keep him as a, him as your reference. For example, uh, now Srita is a user. She want to get hello Srita as their output, uh, output for the app. Means if she open any app, the app should be displayed that hello Srita. So the code is very simple. Simply print LN, Srita. Hello, Srihita. That's it. Our app has ability to show hello, Srihita. That's so simple. So whatever the code we have to write, that is using with the Kotlin language. Whatever the code we are mentioning here, it is completely based on the Kotlin. And you may have 
is there is another alternative for deploying apps or to build apps yes there are so many platforms to deploy our apps but when we talk about this color shape theme animations it is very difficult to create our own when we use this jetpack compose it is going to create automatically that's the coolest feature here so how many of you guys are ready to learn this jetpack compose how many of did you go, uh, did you understand the importance of jetpack compose uh, the features of jetpack compose are you ready guys to hear from you it's not a verbal story nenu unnanu ani cheppadaniki nice how many of you have prior knowledge of android development means already you have any android development knowledge andru preddy uh, can i know which section are you from yeah we are seeing the question called is there is any difference between the flutter and jetpack compose i think uh, okay csc3 from tadia okay nice to hear you uh, in the q and i have seen a question uh, what is jetpack compose and flutter what how they are different guna sai smith are you get now means are you get your answer now shall i explain it again okay so when you talking about the jetpack uh, i already mentioned that the when we talk about the theme color shape etc it should be the uh, code again the platform thing means for the color you have to make a code for the shape you have to make a code for theme you have to make a code for the animations you have to make a, make a code when you talk about the other platforms whereas in jetpack jetpack compose it is it is going to create automatically and it's a native one means whatever the app you are going to means whatever the code you are going to type here it's automatically create the app it's automatically build the app there is no requirement of any other extensions when we talk about the flutter flutter in flutter you are going to use the dart language it is completely different different from the kotlin and whereas it's a uh, it's not a non native non non native platform which means is that it won't directly depend on the processor as well as android mm -hmm. studio it is going it is directly depends on the processor as well as in cpu the architecture is different and if you are familiar with the flutter whatever the code you have typed in the flutter it should be deployed in the android studio and android studio will act as a bridge between the code as well as the app development uh, uh, i forgot to mention that the android development tool means android uh, Android Studio tool will convert SDK file into APK file. Means software development kit. Means whatever the code you are writing, it is completely convert into the application program kit, APK. Are you getting guys? And most of the people have the common question. Means I use everyone. Can we make an iOS app using Kotlin? The straightforward answer is no. You can't make it. Uh, for making it you have to make you have to use flutter because from flutter only you can you may deploy your apps in both ways like you may you can deploy in the ios and you can deploy in the play store itself because the architecture architecture of android is different which is able which is able to build from the android studio itself and the architecture of ios is completely different for example uh, if you want to create a button in the kotlin it is very simple create a button but when we talk about ios means in the flutter to for making the ios there is a lot of different guys please don't worry about it don't don't concentration on the showing code it's so simple 
we are going to study in detail in our following sessions. I think you got a good introduction from the Jetpack Compose. And we want, we introduce our Kamal Chakravat to show you, show you a good pathway for the resources and how to make an app means how, where you have to study for the Android development. He's going to show you a pathway. Yes. Good evening, everyone. I am Kamal Chakravarti and one of the co facilitator uh, of this compost camp. So I can you. Yeah. My screen. And in this today's session, um, share the and outcomes of this camp. So, so, uh, the, so is it visible? No, no. Yeah. Now it's visible. Yeah, yeah, now okay. it's visible. So these are the, some of the optional resources to check out uh, where we have, we have official website for Android developers. And that website. Yeah. So by clicking that link, it will be redirected to this page. And this is the official website to learn uh, where we have some resources to learn uh, basics of uh, app development. So here we have different units. Uh, our uh, total sessions are divided into different units in which the first unit uh, where you will create your first Android app and it will build an app UI. And in third unit, uh, it is to display lists and use some material design. And the fourth unit is to navigate an app architecture. So first unit. In every unit, we have different pathways. So in our first unit, we have three pathways. The first pathway is introduction to Kotlin, and second pathway is to set up an Android Studio, and third pathway is to be, build a basic layout. So in every unit, we have different pathways. So uh, after, uh, let us let me open the first pathway. So in each pathway, you will be having code labs where you have notes and articles for the uh, preparation and some optional YouTube videos. So these are optional and anyway, optional, we are going to teach step by step for you. And these are the additional and optional resources for you to go through. So at the end of each uh, pathway, you will be having a quiz session and by attempting a quiz. If, if you score uh, good marks, then you can earn a badge. So let me show you uh, badges. So these are the badges where your batches are visible in Google developer profile. So after finishing each quiz of each uh, pathways, you will be earning the batches. So you can share these batches on your social uh, social media platforms like Instagram and LinkedIn also. So uh, these are the resources uh, you can use to build your career. Now, so. Now let me discuss outcomes that you will be getting by completing these sessions. So by completing this course, you will be learning the basics of building an Android apps with Jetpack Compose. And along the way, you will develop a collection of various apps. So in the upcoming sessions, you will be getting started by learning Kotlin programming basics and create your first Android app. So you will be creating your basic Android app. First, you will be starting with your Kotlin programming basics, uh, the basic syntaxes and some basic uh, functions, etc. Some topics in the Kotlin, and then you will be moving to the um, Android Studio, where you will be setting your first Android app. And in further uh, coming sessions, you will be start building more interactive apps. Uh, and by finishing this course, you can start your own career, your, your career as an Android developer. And there are extremely high demand and opportunity for both entry level and experienced ones. So you can also join as a freelancer and some of the common skills a freelance Android developer should possess are uh, strong functional knowledge of an Android operating system and Android studio and APS and ecosystems. Also start your career as an Android developer.
so these are the, these are the basic steps you need to follow so that's all from my side hope yeah, you are going to practical. attend these sessions and enjoy enjoy it's going to be more of fun and learn thank you for sure you are going to enjoy the sessions so as you are invited for asking the q and a means you can ask the questions which you are having guys you may unmute yourself guys do you have any doubts okay let me ask myself a doubt <laughs> means uh, when i talk to my friends means when i ask my friends a question like are you interested in the android development most of the people will say yeah i have interest but i don't have a prior knowledge in the coding that's a normal co uh, question from everyone i think a new question is came i think there's a question sir yeah is this going to be conducted daily no it is a series of uh, series of events means it going to conduct alternate days but uh, as a kick start means for for giving a boost up we are starting the session now but the series of session will start from 26 okay i think you did you get the question answer okay let me continue with my doubt itself <laughs> yeah when i ask my friends about this android development thing most of the people say i don't have a prior knowledge in the coding and i used to give a suggestion that there is no requirement of coding but they won't believe that but i'm sure that i am i'm going to promise you that in this session you will admit that uh, there is no requirement of any coding uh, knowledge to attend the sessions because it's completely different thing if you have a knowledge is a good thing if you don't have it's very good thing because there is no confusion between the languages uh, to be frankly speaking when i used to write in the code from the c language to the python to the java i used to confuse it with the syntax if you guys are very new to the coding languages programming languages then it is very easy to you because it is the first feeling for you for ex uh, means uh, our developer has used to have a example from for like if a student get the first byte he will have it to do that he will have it straight to that if you get the first byte from the kotlin itself then it will be your habit when you talk about the another programming languages like c or python it won't be that much good as compared to the kotlin because when you talk about the real life applications of the other programming languages comparatively it is very less when you talk about python it is very less comparatively to the kotlin and mostly while writing the kotlin you will understand the user minds like how the user think how should i write a code in this manner you are going to write a code so that the reason kotlin will be the step step of the coding language for you means you can start means it is it will be a basement for the coding career so how many of you ready to learn kotlin the duration of course uh the course will continue up to october 8 that's for sure the duration may be vary according to the dates yeah you are going to get the notes means you are going going to get the slides and we already provide our resources anyway we are going to teach by step by step but as a support thing you are getting you are you are going to get the resources as well do we have any certification for this course i think the lead is right one for answer this question chandra kennedy join it then 
and then must okay chandrakiran reddy wants to join at the end that answer will be going to <laughs> the question will be going to answer soon any other questions is this a today is today is the first session or no this is the first session that's why it's very basic and non technical from the next session is going to be completely technical and completely very interactive and very sweet any question guys at what timing the classes go on if it is a online thing it will be as from the seven itself if uh, we if it is offline we are going to take the last class and we prefer always evening when the next session actually we can this but we want to make the habitual of using the mails so the mails from the mails you will get the next session date so please check your mails daily welcome chandu hello guys hello okay bro which year are you <laughs> we are from third years yeah okay what are the questions one question is same for you chandu so i were ready do we have any certification for this course okay this course was for completely on android development at the end i am hoping that you can create a android app if that was that so impressive if you can uh, develop an android app completely by yourself surely i will provide you a certification from the google developer club community you will get the real certificate and i can assure you that but you have to develop the app by yourself you need to get the complete knowledge our mentors are here they will be teaching you and they will be guiding you the whole process uh any chance for offline classes yeah sure uh this was the first info session regarding uh on a development but actually i want to conduct this in the offline session itself but to create an awareness we conducted it in an online session this is the first uh small session just an intro part we are going to collect the very curious persons only we can't teach uh, teach the whole team in the campus just we need a limited people we are hoping as a maximum of 30 students we are not going to exceed that if it was online we can extend up to any uh, any level so we conducted as online sure uh, within few days we will conduct as an off offline session itself mostly you can uh, ex expect by 26 or some mm -hmm. date as your facilitator said still any questions today is the first session do we get notes every time when the lecture goes on i like okay i will be showing you something as all already kamal chakravarty has shown you share screen is my screen is visible yeah is my screen is in visible guys respond please yes 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 Yes. 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 Okay. So go to the Google. Google only. I won't allow uh, any other browsers. <laughs> only Google. We are the Google developers. Okay. Go and type. Who's spelling guy? Oh. Google developers. Type Google developers. Already Kamal Tikra they have shown. So you will get the first link itself. Google uh, developers dot Google dot com. good reach here you can see the on right click on on right hmm okay join a join a compose camp actually guys this was introduced for our only a uh, few weeks back there was no compose camp in this platform they added uh, added this course for the gdss to learn just for our sake they uh, added these course in the uh, 
Google Developers Platform. Google Developers Platform. So please, guys, don't waste this session because like they may we may not know like when they will be removing this whole content and everything. You will getting the whole guidelines and what to learn everything. Here the facilitator and the team was just to guide you what to learn. They can't teach you everything with the four to five sessions with the four to five hours of class classes. Just you will be the guide, uh, like only the mentors and the path creators. You have to learn yourself mostly. This is a self learning session most of most probably. We will be creating an awareness what was happening around the world, what which are the technologies introduced by the uh, uh, big MNCs and which technologies are mostly preferable in the MNCs. So Compose Cam was a really great uh, Jetpack Compose Cam was a really great technology introduced by Google. You will be learning this uh, wonderful technology with a good team. Yeah. So join Compose Cam, read the blog. On Red, uh, download on Red Studio is it is the IDE uh, developed by the Google itself. Launch Play Console View on Red courses. So okay, View on Red courses. Click on View on Red courses. I think here you will be getting I think so. Is this here? Uh, new to on Red with Compose. Okay, these are the two courses. Uh, this was from the last few years or months. But this was added new. You can see the new, right? New one on Okay, is it visible? New, new on right basics with compose. Yeah. Okay. Start course. On right. This was this was the thing which Kamal Chakravarti have shown you. Uh, here you will be getting the whole units: unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four. Guys, my uh, my advice, huh? my advice is to please finish the whole units. I can assure you that by finishing these four units, you can create an app which uh, you you can create an app which was designed, deploy. and you deploy. You can deploy also. We will be getting the whole guidelines and everything. Uh, maybe it can be deployed in the Play Store also at the end, if possible. Uh, we will be doing plenty of things. By the end of the October 8th, because I got the guidelines from September 8th to October 8th, we have to conduct these whole sessions. After October 8th, we can't teach the sessions, but we will be guiding you and mentoring you everything. Before 8th, whole sessions will be completed from our side. Later on, maybe we can hope for the webinars, speaker sessions and somehow. But uh, after the October 8th, we'll be shifting to the other technology like cloud or flutter. Other sessions will be there. So please like uh, be motivated and be learn uh, self motivated and learn yourself. So I I will be sharing you this link in the session also. Okay. Okay. Done. <laughs> Okay, guys, how was the session today? I want to know the feedback from my team, how they have interacted with you, how was the session, what you have learned. If, if you don't like them, I will change. I will change the team. Please. Come on. If you don't interact with us, I won't keep the next sessions. I will be only looking for the few people and I will conduct and I will completely close this. If you are interactive only, we will be conducting the sessions and everything. <laughs> no, bro. They're good. Okay, good. Good, good. Thank you guys for giving me a positive feedback. <laughs> yeah, it was nice interactive. Thank you. I think uh, we may get. 
I think we may get good interaction from the offline class itself. Well. Uh, on the other note, we forgot to mention that while downloading the Android Studio, and you can end the batch. That's the thing. And at the end of the session, means after completing all the sessions, we are going to provide a particular task for you guys. Means, uh, namely, I think four tasks will be provided for you. For each task solving, we are going to give the prizes, and we are going to distribute the certificate as certificates as well. So please be prepared for that. Means. Please be ready for de developing the apps. Very simple task will be given for you. So uh, while finishing the task, you will get the prizes. Are you guys? Yeah, that was a nice text from you before the session. I I don't even know about Jetpack, uh, Kotlin and Jetpack. Now I get something basic knowledge. Yeah, this was nice feedback from you, Cyberun. Which type of task? It's so simple, uh, which is completely based on our teaching itself. Means whatever we provide, from that only we will ask the questions. Means we will go uh, like for simple manner, I'm saying that develop app which shows your name. That's a simple thing, right? And we also mentioned that develop app uh, which shows your image, your name, something. So a uh, basic question will be provided for you. Who solves the first and submit uh, the code for us will be announced as the winner for the particular task. Are you clear? I have here Java can also use to develop an app, which is easy, Java or Kotlin. Uh, to, to answer this question, uh, Java uh, means Kotlin is, uh, Evolved from the Java, means which is comp which is nothing but uh, it is based on the Java virtual machine itself. Both are very similar. Kotlin, Kotlin made for the app development. But the Kotlin is made for the app development. That's it. So Most of the uh, have si similar things, similar syntaxes, and interestingly, Kotlin use JVM itself, Java virtual machine itself. Did you get it? Why we can't use Which is popular language nowadays? Mm, popular, it doesn't mean. Means some of the companies use the old, the old uh, Dart itself. Means they won't use uh, come. They will use the old Kotlin itself. Even some of the games are developing using C. Can you believe it? Even though we are in the Python, Python are our, our days, still the people are using uh, C itself. It's completely based on the company which they are deploying. When you talk about the popularity, uh, more, frankly speaking, most of the people are familiar with the Dart other than the Compose because Compose is very new thing. But it is uh, it takes some time to get popular. Whereas Dart is it is already popular using the Flutter means in the Flutter platform, and Another note, I have to mention that uh, Kotlin as well as Dart, both are evolved from the Java itself. What about Flutter? I already mentioned that it's a cross platform. It used Dart language. Uh, any of the code, it should be deployed in the Android Studio itself. Any other questions? Did I miss any question? Uh, Kiwi, why Kiwi? Yeah, Kiwi also a framework thing, which is also it's a it's a evol uh, evolution from the Python. It's a Python framework which runs the Android thing. But it is not that much interactive. When we talk about the database connection or to connect the Firebase, Kiwi won't be a good thing as compared to the uh, Jetpack Compose. For this, we need laptop. Yeah, if there's a laptop, it will be a very good thing. Means it will be more interactive and more effective while running, learning. Or if you are so much interesting, uh, means if you are interested in this, you may write the notes and you may 
execute the things in the in your PC means in the lab itself. Yeah, when can I answer the question? It was on it. It's an Android. On it development ID. On it should On it should use the exe file. Hmm. I know to say exe file, of course. APK file. Okay. So then, and there is no other online uh, code lab. Like for C, you may use the online compiler for Java, for another language. But when you talk about the composable, 100% you should download download the Android Studio. There will be some code labs will be provided for you, but that won't be accurate as the Android Studio. Any other question, guys? Shall we wind up the session? Okay, Chandu wants to wind up the session. Hello guys, thanks for joining. We hope that there will be more interactive sessions upcoming. Uh, now you have joined through the baby platform. It was the most preferred online virtual meeting platform. Mostly, most prefer, prefer, preferably we will be having the online sessions through this baby platform only. I hope like it was nice, right? Q and uh, general Q and A DMs, uh, guys. Like mostly, ask the questions from Q and A itself uh, because there was a dedicated tab for that. Ask the questions in that only because we can't address like which which are the questions and which were the interactive sessions. Q and A, and also if the questions are good, you no need to type again. If someone has asked the same questions. You can uh, like react. You can re react like thumbs up if you don't like. You can keep it on thumb. So ask the questions in the Q and A for the next sessions if they are online. Okay. In the general, please be interactive. Okay. Talk yourself. Share your LinkedIn profiles. Uh, share your Instagram profiles. Say your name. Ask the questions yourself. Like I was interested to collab. Uh, like let's do a project. Discuss in the general session, and ask the questions in Q and A. Create a community yourself, okay? Create a developers community of on right and build the best apps. Upcoming, I will be giving you plenty of projects, uh, solution challenges. There will be plenty of opportunities provided by the Google Developer Friends Club. But to be ready of that, you have, you have to create your own team. Because you, most of you all from different, different branches, different, different classes, years, uh, you are from different places in the campus. You all have to combine at one place. Then only, when will be the next session? Okay. Then only you can create something as a team. Teamwork was a really best work. Don't go by yourself. Mostly, a team can create any kind of app and any kind of the technology you want to do. So, create a good team. Interact here. Interact here itself. I hope this session was nice. Uh, we will be giving you the whole updates and everything in the GDSC GNI Insta page. And you will be getting the uh, more updates to the mail itself only. Uh, and you will be getting the feedback forms after this session. Please go through the feedback form and fill your feedback. I hope it was good feedback. I hope so. Because of my good team. Okay. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you for joining. Bye bye. One question is remain. When was the next session? Uh, when was the next session? I think we can disclose it here itself, but we want to use your mails. Means you have to use your mails. Mails. We will send. We will send your mail. Uh, send your mails for the next session details. Which type of application is required for the for programming? In the laptop. Means, Android Studio. Uh, in the laptop, you have to use Android Studio. You can write the code there, or else. Uh, the website which is shown by Chandrakan Reddy and Kamal Chakravarti, there will be some code labs. Go and do that. Uh, go and do that. In this week, uh, we suggest you that in this week, you have to complete this uh, at least one unit. Then only you will be able to understand in a simple manner. It will be easy for both of us, for all our team as well as you. I think you on this session, right? Uh, the, please go through the link. Please say Finish the, finish the unit, one, unit one at least in this week. No. Okay. Are you guys are ready for completion of first Hello. unit? Are you ready for getting your badges? Hello. Check your DMs. I have answered your questions. Okay. Okay. Sure.
done okay guys we are going to meet you in next session okay bye bye